So 25 years old. Don't worry. Any mistake is an income. It's a wonderful revenue for you. So I tell myself, and told my young people, before 20 years old, be a good student. When you do entrepreneur, just learn some experience. Before 30 years old, follow somebody. Go to a small company. Normally, in a big company, it is good to learn processing. You are a part of a big machine. But when you go to small company, you learn the passion. You learn the dreams. You learn how to do a lot of things at one one time. So before 30 years old, it's not which company you go; it's which boss you follow. It's very important. A good boss teach you differently. And before, th- from 30 to 40 years old, you have to think very clearly. You're working for yourself. If you really want to be entrepreneur, when you're 40 to 50 years old, you have to do all the things that you are good at. Don't try to drop into the new area. It's too late. You may be successful, but the the rate of dying is too big. So 40 to 50. Think about how can focus on things that you are good at. But when you are 50 to 60 years old, work for the young people because young people can do better than you. So rely on them, invest on them, making sure they're good. So when you are over 60 years old, spend time for yourself on the beach, sunshine. You know I mean? <laughs> right? It's too late for you to change normally. But I, this is my my advice to the young people. 25 years old, make enough mistakes. Don't worry. You fall, you stand up. You fall, you stand. Enjoy it. I mean, 25 oh. years old. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. I did not have a rich father. Tried three times for university. All failed. I applied for Harvard for 10 times. All failed. They don't even want to see me. For the last time, I went to the teacher's college, which was considered the third or fourth class of my city. So I applied jobs for 30 times, got rejected. It was so difficult at that time. I was so frustrated because I taught in the university. My pay was $10 a month because I could not find a good job in 1994 discuss that I'm going to do something called internet and 23 of them against it they said this is a stupid idea we have never heard about internet and you know nothing about computer and I never thought I was smart nobody believed that I could be successful because everybody said well this guy think differently think crazily you know they think about something never work I tried to borrow 3,000 US dollars from the banks it took me three months but I still cannot get it. We talked to over 30 or 40 venture capitalists. Everybody said, no, forget it. A lot of people said Alibaba is a terrible model. As I said, I believe it. I think this thing could be big. I never thought it would be that big like today. But I believe that something, something is waiting for me there. And I have to work hard to prove myself. That was the tough experience. So we gather 50,000 US dollars from 18 founders. We started. For the first three years, we did not have even one dollar revenue from our business. It was not easy. Why it keeps on going ahead, going forward? Because I received lots of email of thanks from the customer. They say, this is such a great thing. We cannot pay you, but this thing helped us. If you keep on helping us, one day you will be successful. And I believe this. Little by little, we build up our business. Little by little, we build up our ecosystem of the infrastructure. And now after 16 years, we have an Alibaba group, we have a Tmall group, we have a Taobao group, we have Alipay. And people said, you are so smart. How could you make a company like that? Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, the Jack Welch, Larry Page, Mark Zuckerberg. The difference between those people and other people, they are always optimistic for the future. They never complain. They always try to solve the problems of